Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch here. In this video, we're going to change a few of these settings. Uh, if you recall the last video, we uh, installed a distro and uh, I thought I'd make a video with uh, changing a few of the settings. Um, I've already started playing around with the settings and uh, then I thought that I would uh, I would go ahead and make a video for you guys just to uh, show you a few things that we can do here. We'll go through the updates as well and we'll go through a few of the pre-installed applications so let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's kind of a mess here now, uh, but we can fix it up pretty quick here. We'll just uh, click on our start menu. We'll go into our preference. We'll go to custom look and feel. Uh, we'll change our widgets to dark. We'll go to our icon theme. We'll just change it to the normal, the normal look icons, and then we'll hit apply, I guess. And we'll jump over to window borders and we'll change that as well. Okay. So now that is done, let's go into our start menu again. We'll go up to accessories, concave manager. So this is basically where you add the widgets. Uh, you can you can uncheck them, take them off, we'll change the backgrounds if we go into themes. So if uh, the quick way to do it is if you want to get rid of all the widgets, you can click on one of them and just put a check mark in it. So if this is the one that you want to use, which is just a red circle, which is fine. You can just uncheck it then, and that'll remove the widgets. So we'll go with that there one. Uh, taskbar is not really there. It's not very big. So let's go ahead and change that as well. We'll just right click on it and we'll go to panel settings. Uh, we'll bring it up to about 40. And we'll bring our icon size up to about 32. Maybe 30, 30, does 30 look good? Let's go with 30. Um, and then we'll go to appearance and we'll make it the system theme look. There we go, close that out. So it's starting to look a little better. There's a few more things we can do, just a little more tweaks. Uh, we'll open up our terminal here and we'll type in a command here just to get something installed, one of our themes. So we'll go sudo dnf install genome dash tweaks and then we'll also get the uh, the theme extras so we'll go genome themes extra and we'll go ahead and hit enter last words password we'll put an it capital it and then mania hit enter we'll give it a few moments here it will uh it will grab the packages for us Okay, and there's that. It'll also ask us uh, if we want to go ahead. Everything pretty much with Linux, if you uh, go through the commands, it's going to ask you yes or no. Okay, so there's our yes or no. Total size is uh, 21 megabytes. Uh, it's 19 packages. So I'm going to say yes to this here. I'm going to stop the video here. And once it's done downloading, I will be back. Okay, so now that is finished there. Uh, as you can see, the the effects didn't take uh, it didn't take effect uh, for the set new settings. But uh, to do that, there we just need to log out and log back in. We don't need to do a reboot or anything. So we'll just uh, click our menu again, hit log out, and then we will log out. And we'll just go ahead and log back in capital IT and then mania and as you can see it loads in a lot quicker if you're if you watch the previous video I've had to uh, how to install the distro you'll see that it, it came in a lot quicker it's much better so now what we need to do is uh, do some updates uh, there is updates available there's a few updates we don't want to do uh, just because it, this distro is complied for PS4 and we don't want to take all the updates otherwise it'll overwrite the drivers the kernel and uh, it'll just mess up the whole system and you can possibly which you probably will disable your uh, your wireless if you do have the wireless I believe not all PS4s are able to connect wirelessly but uh, if you uh, if you take all the updates, you won't have this wireless. That's even if the system will work anymore. I can't see it even turning it on. So uh, the default update command is sudo dnf update. Okay. 
So that there is the command to update everything, but we're going to exclude a few things, so it's just minus x. So the first thing what we're going to do is the kernel. K-E-R-N-E-L. And we'll go stir, comma. Uh, the next thing is Mesa. Stir. We will be getting a, a version of Mesa. After we get everything done, we're going to get a modded version of it. Um, I believe we're on 20, but we'll be able to check out that there, and then we'll we'll get that done. Uh, the next thing we need to do is lib drm, and we'll go with the stir, comma, and final thing is xorg dash x11 dash dru dash a, and then the stir. So they're the four that we have to exclude. We uh, we don't need them, otherwise they will destroy the system. So we're just going to go ahead and hit enter on that. And like always, it asks us for a password, IT mania. We'll give it a few minutes here and it should ask us yes or no. There is uh, quite a few updates, I would imagine. If you recall the, the installation of this tutorial, it was back when 6.72, that's what the tutorial was for. Uh, we're doing it on 7.55 now. So some of these here packages that are installed now could be six months or even a year old. So an update is, uh, is a good idea to go through with. We will see. It will show us, uh, will show us how many updates. I think the last time I did it was like 500 and some. 500 and some updates that need it. Okay, there we go. So, if you look here, uh, install 35, upgrade 581, and then skip 14. So, it's 1.1 gigs. So, I'm going to say yes to that there. It is going to take a bit uh, to download and get them installed. But uh, once that is done, I will be back. Okay, so now that that is done, with the updates, we can go ahead and uh, we can just clear this here. We're going to go and update Mesa now. Um, there is a command. We can see the, the version that we have installed. So we'll just type in uh, GLX info dash, oh, dash capital B. Um, I'm not sure what that's called. Uh, a break maybe. And then grip string. Okay, so we can see here we do have Mesa version 20.2.0. So if we open up Chrome, oh, there we go. We can go ahead and if you see on Chrome, IT Mania is one of the bookmarks. So we can just click on that. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not loading. It should load. Okay, give me a sec here. We'll just check. Oh, we're disconnected. Okay, so we can connect again. With the updates, it might have just got disconnected there. So we'll just reconnect here. And we're reconnected. Close that, hit refresh. Okay, it just may, it may take a couple of minutes here just to get connected. It should come up. Shouldn't be any issue with it. Okay, so I did get it to load. The reboot did fix it. I'm not sure exactly what was going on there. If you're having difficulties uh, connecting to the site, just maybe after the updates, just do a restart. Uh, you can see here, once you do get in, uh, we have PS4, Linux, RPM, Mesa, Git. We're going to click on that. And we'll go over to code and then download as zip. Now it should take a little bit to download. It'll pop up here in a couple of seconds here. There we go. And it's going to start downloading. So let's give that a little bit to get downloaded. Okay, now that we have that installed, we can just... Uh, here, get my mouse over here. 
just click here and we'll go show in folder drag this over here uh, we can right click on it and we can hit extract to or extract here it doesn't really matter I don't have many files here this is the first file downloaded so we can just go extract here okay and we'll just jump in the folder there's a few things we need to delete we'll delete this testing and at the very bottom the readme we can delete that as well so we'll just right click and hit uh, move to trash and are you sure yes then we'll just back out to the main folder and we're going to open up this in a terminal so open in terminal okay and there's a few commands we have to type in here just to get everything done so what we're going to type in is sudo rpm rpm and then dash dash oh space space dash dash rebuild db hit enter type in our password it mania give it a few seconds it shouldn't take too long okay and that there's done now we just need to go ahead and install it so we'll type in sudo rpm oh my bad not rpm dnf install space and then our start and that just basically will install all the the rpms in that folder so we'll go ahead and hit enter give it a few moments here it should uh, ask us for a password again maybe it won't I thought it did uh, okay there we go so we're upgrading 32 packages so we'll say yes to that and it shouldn't take too long because it's already all downloaded it's uh, it's basically in that folder so it's just a matter of getting everything installed and as you can see it's going pretty quick so we'll give that a few seconds here I'm not going to uh, bother cutting it out because I don't think it's going to be all that long as you can see it's going super quick so in the meantime we can go ahead and close all our browsers here we don't need anything open here we don't need this open we can close that out move this up here okay let's just there we go that part's done complete okay so we can go ahead and close this out now so if you recall our previous version up here of Mesa was 20.2 so if we retype type that command just by pressing up we should get our command again we'll go ahead and hit enter and you can see that we are on 21 so that's basically it for the updates and the settings I will go through the menu here quick uh, I won't get into too much but uh, we can go through it um, your accessories you can see what's there uh, as for your games you have all your em emulators uh, oh. like your dolphin emulator you can see them all here your PSX and uh, retro arc is usually what I use that there's basically has all your your older gen games and it pretty much works for everything so if you've seen my previous video with retro arc you can see that uh, there's lots of emulators there you have your stream um, I currently don't own any games on stream I don't think uh, I, m I may log into it later and just check there might have been a free game I I for some reason I think I have GTA on it but uh, we can uh, check that out later your graphics just your image viewer and stuff as for your internet you have your different things uh, you have your torrents team viewer which is pretty good your stream is in there too uh, office applications others programming your sound and video okay so you have Cody here so if you want to there's lots of uh, add-ons for Cody's for free TV and stuff you could pretty much get there your VLC player I use a lot of VLC player for playing movies and whatnot 
just your system tools. Uh, Chrome, I'm not sure what that is. And then your preference, this is all your different things, your Bluetooth settings, uh, desktop preference, keyboard and mouse monitor, screen savers. And then you got your administration, basically your language, your firewalls, and then your run commands. So that's basically it for this tutorial here, guys. If you guys like the video, please like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.